Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do a video on how to use Tmux. Uh, Tmux is a tool that I started using, I would say a few months into my penetration testing journey, which I'm still on. Uh, when I first started doing penetration testing, I was completely stuck to the terminal and things became overwhelming really quick and Tmux is such a good and helpful tool. So before I go into the, the custom configuration for Tmux, I want to show you guys a few examples of why Tmux is so beneficial and why I highly recommend using it. So when I first started penetration testing, I used a bunch of tabs in Windows Open at the same time when I would attack boxes on Try Hack Me or Hack the Box, and it quickly got really overwhelming. Let's join a Tmux session we already have. Don't, too, don't worry too much about this session and how I'm entering these commands. I will explain them in just a bit. I just want to show you guys the power of Tmux. So right now, um, you can set up your um, windows in Tmux. So as you can see here, we have four windows, and you can set them up and rename them to however you'd like. So I can jump to my zero window. I can rename this, let's say, nmap, scan. I can go to my one window, rename this. Uh, enumeration and so on. This is really nice as you can keep you can keep track and place uh, different processes and things that you have going during your attacking in certain areas. The second reason that I, I'd recommend using it is let's say you want to um, run a certain command like let's say you're doing nmap. Let's say I'm doing a port scan. For this example we'll just do a port scan on my own host but assume in a real life example you do this on an actual machine. This is going to take some time to load. And let's say in the, in the real world, you don't know if this IP address is actually up. You don't know if this computer is actually turned on and you can actually scan it for ports. So to check, instead of having to close this window or opening a new window or just canceling this command and checking that computer is up, you can split your term, terminal and you can ping your IP address. Now you know that this nmap scan will be successful, likely, because you can ping it. So this is, these are the two major benefits of Tmux that I find uh, it really helps my workflow when I'm doing penetration testing. Now that you guys have gotten a taste of the power of Tmux, let's get right into uh, how to configure Tmux on your Kali machines and your computers and how to customize the configuration so it works really nice according to your needs. If you guys wanna follow along throughout this video, please follow these steps I show here so you can start off at the same point as me. So to start, we want to create a tmux.com file, and I will explain all this later on in the video. So first you want to make sure you are in your home directory, and here you can see we are. And then here you want to paste this configuration. So I did post this in the description. Um, please paste up to the list of plugins um, that I have in the description. From here, run the following command. And run this command to ensure you update your settings um, so they're now updated to Tmux for your current logged in user. Now you should be at the same point as me. Um, please. Be sure to follow along if you'd like. The first settings here um, it is the prefix. The prefix is um, what everything, all the commands in Tmux uh, are based off of. So you always have to enter your prefix first and then whatever the following um, key is to perform what you need to in Tmux. So let's jump into a new Tmux session here. So here we have our Tmux session. You can see it's Tmux here as we named it and we have our first window which is named bash. So let's say we have our Tmux, uh, our prefix here. Let's say we want to create a new um, window. So to do that we can hit our prefix which is control A and then we let go of those keys and press C which will give us a new window. And then to rename our window we can do control A and then let go of our keys and press the comma button. So now we have a, a window renamed here. And 
Uh, I won't be going through every single shortcut key in Tmux in this video, but if you do want the shortcut keys in Tmux, you can simply press uh, your prefix key, control A, let go, and then question mark, and now you will have um, a pretty good summary of the Tmux keys that you can use. All right, so let's go to our search mode. So for search mode, the default in Tmux is Emacs. We changed our search mode to VI. So let's say we have we want to see our nmap.help page. In Tmux, you're not able to scroll up like you are typically in the, in the terminal. Instead, when you use your scroll wheel, it will go up to your previous commands that you may have typed previously. So we can still scroll up though, we just need to use our search mode. So in order to get into our search mode, you want to hit your prefix, control A, and then left square brackets. Now from here, you're able to scroll up and down. If you want to search anything, you can simply hit forward slash and search, let's say, simply. And now you can see simply here. Uh, if you want to cycle through searches, you can click N. Um, and there's other ways to cycle as well, which you guys can reference online. All right, so now let's go to um, allow rename off. So this setting essentially is, let's say we create a new window and we want to rename our window to Python, let's say. If we were to enter a command and we didn't have this setting off, um, it would rename our current active window. And we want our names to stay consistent the whole time throughout our sessions, so we don't want this setting on. Let's go to our history limit. So let's say we have nmap-help. So if we go back into our search mode here, we can see we have 197 lines in the terminal. This is uh, is the amount of lines we're allowed to scroll back. So if you make this 100,000 and you're working all day, then you'll be able to scroll um, all the way 100,000 lines of history in your terminal when you're in your VI search mode. All right, let's go to our, um, our splitting of our terminal horizontally and vertically. So this is one of the most exciting parts about Tmux. So with Tmux, you can split your terminal horizontally and vertically. So to split your terminal vertically here, we rebinded our default keys to the vertical uh, line on your um, keyboard, or you can see it's usually a backslash and a vertical line. Uh, both of them are on the same key. And you also have splitting your um, your terminal horizontally would be your dash key. So originally, these are the keys we used. I decided to unbind them, the default keys for splitting your terminal, just so it doesn't interfere with the new keys. So to split your terminal vertically, you want to hit your prefix key, control A, and then your vertical line on your keyboard. Now, if you want to split it horizontally from here, you want to hit your prefix key and then your horizontal key here. And you can do this several times as long as you have space in your screen. All right, lastly, plugins. Let's get into plugins. So there is a few plugins that I like to use. Actually, one only really in particular, and that is the logging plugin. I did want to roll through with you guys how to uh, install this because it, um, it is nice to have this uh, some instructions prior to doing this. So in order to install, first we are going to install a plugin which allows you to log anything that you write in one of your windows. So to do this, you wanna go back to your, um, and I'll provide these links in the description. You wanna go here, you wanna copy, and under the installation guide of this GitHub page, you wanna copy this and git clone uh, this current repository. So once you get clone that, you want to add your you want to add these settings to your your .tmux.conf this page we have here. So we want to go here. We can simply copy and paste this, paste it here, delete some of the stuff that is not needed here, and here we go. Now we have um, this the TPM. And this TM, TMUX sensible, sensible allows you to use TMUX plugins. Uh, this is also um, allowing you to initialize a plugin manager. So if you do want to use TMUX plugins, you need these uh, three um, lines of code. You don't necessarily need this one. I've used it without it, but it's nice to just follow the instructions. And once we are here, we also want to install our TMUX logging plugin. You can copy and paste this line right here. I'll provide the links for this page in the description as well. Here we are. Now we want to save our Tmux configuration. 
and from here we want to reload our uh, tmux configuration file. So to do this, you want to enter the following command. So now we've reloaded any changes that we've made, and now we want to load the actual plugins that we just added. So we just added three plugins. So to do this, you want to hit your prefix and then capital I. And we can hit enter to continue. So now if we do want to um, log everything that we've done on this specific uh, window, let's say number three, let's say we're in a penetration test, or let's say we're even on the OSCP and we want to log everything we've done in this window, maybe it could help us with rep reporting or purposes. Um, we want to hit our prefix and then we want to hit um, option shift P. And now it'll save this entire command history to a logging file. And this will be directly in your home directory. You can see it right here. And we can go into this file if we'd like. And now we can see the history of um, everything. And there isn't much history here just because we just installed the plugin, but this is uh, the history we have so far. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. If it was helpful, please do give it a like. I do recommend practicing some of the commands in Tmux and the shortcuts. It will take a little bit of time just to adjust, but it is so worth it. I'm telling you, it is very helpful. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Ipsec. Ipsec was the one who inspired me to use Tmux. He does walkthrough hacking videos on YouTube for hack the box machines. He is an absolute genius and I highly recommend checking him out. If you want to see videos like this in the future, consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time.